Hey guys, Nick Stocker with Demonic Procedures here with another tutorial for the UDK. We're going to talk about weapon pickups and planning out your map as we did last time. So as I did, what I did is I went to Photoshop and I planned out my map. I set up a key over here with spawns, weapons, health, water, ammo, kega health, redeemer, weapons, locker, and all that other good stuff. And over here I drew out what my map would look like. I have a room here, 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 and here, and I have connecting hallways to each. And then up here I wrote some basic measurements of what I thought the room should be, like 512. So each of these rooms here should be 512 by 512 by 256. And the hallways should be 256 by 128 by 128 that connect. And the main room should be 512 by 512. Um, then I also have all these little dots everywhere. Well, the green dots are spawns. The yellow dots are weapon pickups. The health is the red stuff right here and the water is these little water pits here so I'm gonna have a water pit here and here and here the ammo is these purpley pinkishy dots pink more or less pink dots the kego health is let's see the light blue right here in the main room the redeemer is the orange right here in the main room and the weapons locker on each side of the uh, this main room here now I wanted to get kind of a better familiarity with this main room would look like so I built a side view of it too so I have my main room, and it's going to have a pit in the very middle, which the pit is measured at 128 by 128 by 512. And I'm going to have my weapons lockers, and then on the side of the room I'm going to have these little uh, pads that the player can jump and jump and jump and jump and get the redeemer up here. Alright, so this is my map that I laid out. Very basic. You can do this in MS Paint with a little ingenuity. It's not that hard. Um, just draw out what you think your map's going to look like. So let's see what I did. Um, here's my map now. I added a couple weapons pickups, but uh, don't worry, I haven't set really any of them up yet. So let's play this real quick. And since I have eight player starts, I'm going to add bots. And I'm going to put in seven, excluding for eight, excluding one for my own, so seven. Add bots, and now I have bots. And that guy's got a rocket launcher there that he picked up. Now. Ah, they can never get me. Oh god, they're coming right back down. So, there's my level so far. Obviously, I don't have water or anything else in their health like I planned yet. But I will. I trust me. Alright, so let's set up some of these um, pads. I'm going to delete these two. And I'm going to add some new ones in so we can kind of concentrate on how that was done. So I'm going to go to my content browser, and I'm going to go to my actor classes tab. And here in my actor classes, I want to go to navigation. Uh, weapons are used as navigation points for the bots to be able to kind of navigate the level. Next, we're going to want to go to a pickup factory, because that's the, what it is. It's a pickup. And we want to open that up a little more. And then again, and at the very bottom here, you see UT Weapon Pickup Factory. It's in bold. So now that I have that selected, I can right-click. I can go to add UT weapon pickup factory. All right, so we have that in. I'm going to hit with it selected. I'm going to hit F4, and when you open it up, it's going to look like this. Well, I want to go to UT weapon pickup factory here, and now I can pick a weapons class. Now this game only ship or this uh, UDK only ships with three weapons because it's meant for you to put in your own stuff and not use their stuff. So they only gave you really three weapons to start off with. We'll use a rocket launcher here, and we're good to go. I think if I just rebuild paths right here, or I can just build all. Building out the scene here. Close that out. I'm going to right click the floor and choose play from here. So now I have my room with my weapon pickup. Yay! It's so pretty. And now I can shoot it. And that's how you add a weapons pick up to your level. Um, if I have time, ooh, I got lots of time. Sweet. So now I can show you guys how to add some health and stuff too. So we have our weapons pick up. Let's actually add ammo because, well, we can't really shoot our weapon without ammo. So I have my weapons pick up there, and we know how to do that. Let's add some ammo. Well, it's still a pickup factor that we need to do because it's still a pickup. But instead of UT weapon pick up, we're going to go to item pick up. And we'll bring that down. And we don't need health or armor, we need ammo. So we'll select ammo and drop that down. 
and we have either a link gun, rocket launcher, or shock rifle. Oh, we've got the rocket launcher in this room. We kind of mess up to give him, you know, let's give him some shock rifle ammo to go with that rocket launcher. That's kind of funny, right? So with that selected, with the shock rifle ammo selected, I'm going to right click and add add UT ammo here. And then I can just hold alt and drag that over to add a duplicate of that ammo. I'll put it to the other side of the room. Right over here. Right over Honda. Honda. And now our room has ammo in it. Woohoo! Well, let's add some health like the um, picture showed in my uh, stuff since I have so much free time. Health pickup factory, right below. Right below ammo pickup factory, we go to health pickup and we have health pack, health vials, and health, super health. Well, I'm just going to use some health vials. I'm going to select health vial, right click the floor, add UT health vial. I can close this down now. I'm going to go from a side view so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm going to move this in here. I'm going to alt and drag. I should really do this from the top view so I can kind of get a decent measurement of how far these things are away. And also they're not even centered at all. So I'm going to select the other one by holding control and just center these up in the room. Bring it back. I'm going to hold alt and drag two more out. And you want to get good spacing in between these. You want these to be somewhat spaced out um, in a decent way here. Looks about right to me. I'm about two of these little boxes away from each one. So that looks pretty good. That looks weird. Let's go back into my top view. My top view doesn't seem to be syncing up with my bottom view there. Oh, it is. I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab these three because I know I only want about four in each one. And now we just got to kind of space these bad boys out here. There we go. There we go. So now we have four, and I can choose all these. And I can just duplicate these over to this side of the building. And to this side of the building. And choose all these again. Choose them all, choose them all, choose them all, choose them all. And duplicate once more down to here. And right now I'm just kind of eyeballing it. If I was doing this for real, I'd probably pay a little more attention to what I'm doing and I'll choose all these. I'm going to duplicate, bring over to here, I'm going to rotate and I'm going to put these in this hallway as well and try to center it up by eye here. Alt to drag, alt to drag. Actually I don't even want these here so uh, to draw that little marquee I was holding control and alt at the same time that draws like a little marquee for you to uh, select more than one object uh, faster so now that we got those I'm going to hold control and alt and drag a marquee box over these and it got my builder brush too I don't want to delete the builder brush or not the builder brush the um, my geometry delete these and delete this one so now let's rebuild this with all of our awesomeness in it a couple ammo and some weapons and some health and our bots running around like freaking chickens with their heads cut off. Close this out. And let's play it out and see what happens. Mmm, health. Mmm, more health for me. Yeah, ooh. Yeah, yeah, I love me some health. Mmm. Ooh, ammo? Uh, I think I will take some ammo. Alright, so now we have all this cool pickups that I have within the level. And if I were to hit tab, add bots. Seven. We can have ourselves a gay old time. So, Ultra Kill, Monster Kill, and that's basically it for now. Let's see if I have if I have my time I might throw a weapons locker. No, not really. Have. All right, so that's it for now. We're going to talk about adding water and something that everybody's really been wanting to learn: uh, fractured meshes, uh, which are very very cool. We're going to use it to block off some of these uh, rooms from each other, and they're going to have to shoot down the wall and jump through the rubble and decay just to get to the other guy, and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Um, this is Nick Sock with Demonic Procedures. Thanks for watching, guys. Just remember the demons inside.